Welcome to another edition of the Hoop Scoop. I'm Jared Johnson, and boy, do we have a big one on tap for Texas Tech Hoops. As the number 13 Red Raiders, they jumped up five spots in the poll this week after beating West Virginia and Iowa State. But they jumped up to 13, and they're taking on number five Kansas at the Fog there uh, in Lawrence in a, just a huge matchup. It's a, the big Monday matchup on ESPN, 8 p.m. Uh, Monday night. And uh, I just this has huge repercussions, potentially, um, the way it looks uh, in terms of the Big 12 race. Uh, Texas Tech is 5-2 and two in conference. Kansas is 5-1. and one. Of course, that lone loss for the Jayhawks came to Texas Tech in Lubbock earlier this season when the Red Raiders really, I don't want to go too overboard, but they, they were in control of the game for most of the game. It wasn't like an upset last-second shot. Red Raiders won by eight points. They dominated in the paint, I believe, 44 to 18 scoring, something like that. Um, and then they out-rebounded them by nine. I think it was 33 to 24. So they really dominated inside. And, you know, Bryson Williams had a big game. I think he had 22 points to eight rebounds. Kevin O'Banner is the Big 12 newcomer of the week this week. Uh, and he's been playing, you know, very well. So um, then you got guys like Bacho that can come off, you know, almost a seven-footer, come off the bench. Uh, Marcus Santos Silva, who's been playing, he's been better this year than he was last year, just all around team ball. His stats may not support that, but you watch him play. He's playing better basketball, playing great team basketball defensively, rebounding, even as a facilitator somewhere, an outlet. Um, he's, he's helped some. So uh, just tech figures to have a decided advantage inside against Kansas, which is really a mouthful. It's hard to say, you know, but uh, that appears to be. Tech's biggest advantage. I split. I expect them to go out to get after it again and try that. I think Kansas will probably play some zone again, like they did. It did disrupt Tech a little bit in the first matchup. Um, I think Bill Self called it a crappy zone. You know, I think most of these coaches they'd rather play man. You know, but uh, you know, Tech has struggled some against zones this year. So it'll be interesting to see the whole chess match. I mean, between Coach Mark Adams and uh, Coach Bill Self there at the Fog. And then you know, there's just the fact of this. It's really hard to win there. Uh, up in Lawrence. I mean, it just is. I think Tech is, I saw from the athletic department, uh, the stat, like they're 1 in 20 all time in Lawrence with uh, that lone win coming in 2018. So, uh, you know, we'll just have to see how it all shakes out and if, you know, uh, Texas Tech can, can go up there and get that done. Because if they do, then they hold the tiebreaker, obviously, with a, a season sweep over the Jayhawks, which will be huge. Because as we're going along, it's starting to look like and I know 24/7 Sports has uh, written a couple of things you can find on Inside the Red Raiders, uh, on, you know, on the site. If you haven't seen it already, they're you know they're basically, and I agree that it looks like a three-headed you know race in terms of Tech, Kansas, and Baylor going for the Big 12 title. And so this game is huge in terms of if Tech could sweep Kansas and hold that tiebreaker, I mean that could end up determining who wins. But of course Baylor's going to have their say, the defending national champs, and all that. Um, but it's interesting. Big, I, I get why it's a big Monday matchup. Um, can't wait to see how it all shakes out. And it'll be interesting because, you know, with McCuller and uh, Shannon back, how that, you know, figures in. Shannon's coming off a big game, season high, I think 23 points uh, against West Virginia, which was, a you know, West Virginia was tough. Tech was able to win that game um, and pulled away late, but that was a tough game. Uh, so it's, it's the Big 12. So I expect another tough game tonight up in Lawrence. And, uh, of course, we'll have all kinds of covers, Jaeger shots and stuff for you uh, after the game. But with that, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time.